I don't know if you saw hey, Crocodile Dundee. He was the guy in Crocodile Dundee when um, coming to the end of the movie, you know, and down in the subway, that subway scene. That's one of my favorite scenes in the entire movie. And it's like, you know, a sea of people. And Crocodile Dundee ready to run some forward place. And the woman say, I love you. Crocodile Dundee said, can I hear it? What, what, what? So this is the man that said, he says he loves you. Mr. Sullivan Walker. A good cut ass is the only reason why plenty of we grow up to be man or no man. If wasn't cut ass, plenty of we would have dead long time. A cut ass was something else. You remember? Can he? Can he come here? This morning, I get up early, early, and I make 16 fry bakes. Some for your father to go to work, and some for tea this morning. Now I'm counting them, and two and a half of the fry bakes missing. You want to explain to me how come out of 16 fry bakes is only 13 and a half way left? You ain't no mommy. It's only me, you, and your father in the house, and your father still sleeping. So who take it? Is Jumbi where take it? How come the corner of your mouth greasy so? Oh, it's spit where the shine so. Oh, it's grease from your hair. Come to me feel your hair. No grease in your hair. What is that bulging out your back pocket? Oh, it's a kerchief. What kind of kerchief that where does leave greasy mark on your pants? Your school pants to be side. Take out the kerchief. Let me see it. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Just say, take it out. Oh, they invent a new kind of kerchief. Now, where they call this one a fry bake hand kerchief? Take off your belt. Take off your belt. I ain't touch you yet and you start bawling. Take off your belt before I use my slipper on you. Or you prefer the slipper. Look, take off the damn belt. How much time I must tell you? Don't touch. Ask and you will receive. But don't, 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 don't touch. Oh, you wouldn't do it again. That is what you say the last time when you drink out the condensed milk. <laughs> Children who don't hear will feel, 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 will feel. Now go kneel down in that corner and say, I wouldn't touch what I am put on. Cut us. Ladies and gentlemen, on <laughs> now that's a scene from my one man show, Boy Days, stories about growing up in the Caribbean. And I'll be doing that in Brooklyn at the Farragut Manor on Flatbush Avenue. Now there are flyers out front. Let me tell you the reason why I'm doing the show. On January 1st, New Year's Day, a friend of mine, Christopher Wilson, went to visit a girlfriend of his in Tampa, Florida. You might have read in the papers, I've seen it on television. He was kidnapped by three white men and kerosene was poured in him and he was set ablaze. He was burnt over 40% of his body and he spent quite a long time in the hospital. He has a lot of hospital bills and Boy Days is an effort to help him defray some of those expenses 
We need your support. Now, this could have been any one of us. Could have been me, you, my kid, your kids, okay? These things are happening more and more to Caribbean people.